Hey, what's going on? So um, my name is Ray Robinson, and what I want to do is teach you guys how to pretty much back test, you know, especially as a new trader coming into the game. You definitely want to be able to, um, you know, have a strategy, have a trade plan whenever you enter the markets and start trading. And the best way to do that is to back test. So I'm going to show you the importance of having trading view. First off, what you want to do is um, if you don't have it, go and get it. It's free. And um, if you want to go ahead on and invest, I think it's like, what, like $20 a month or something like that. Um, definitely go ahead and invest into it because it gives you a lot of tools of uh, a, a wide range of tools that you can use to help you guys really take your trading skills to the next level. So what I want to show you guys right now is um, a method that I use to help train, you know, new people on my team and my organization, how to trade in the foreign exchange markets, um, pretty much how to back test and, you know, have a, a, a consistent working strategy, profitable strategy that it can use and, and really help them get to that next level. So if you, you know, you look at the top of my screen right here, you see this, this little button right here that says replay. What this button does, uh, it allows me to back test my strategy. I can go to any time frame. Um, the lowest time frame I trade off of is the five minute when I scout. Most of you guys know that are watching this. I am um, a harmonic trader. I trade patterns in the market and highly probability uh, trade setups that I look for. When I trade patterns, they give me a sense of direction in the market and what I should be. Um, it, it gives me structure and gives me a strict set of rules I need to follow. So I can look anywhere between the five minute to scalp it, 15 minute, all the way up to the uh, daily time frame. So what I want to do, I want to stick to the uh, 15 minute time chart real quick. And what I want to do is go ahead on and um, let's just go back in time. Let's just scroll back anywhere. I'm on AUD JPY. You can do this on any pair as well. So let's see what we got here. I'm just going to scroll back. I'm just going to stop right here. And I'm going to come here and click replay. And when I click replay, I can choose, you know, pretty much the speed that I want um, the market to, to replay. But this red, this red line that you see, if I take it back here and, you know, click on my screen, it's going to start the market right here. If I come here and click on my screen, it's going to start the market right there. As you can see, this is um, where the market is it's currently in uh, replay mode. So what I want to do is go ahead on and click play. And let's just sit back and start testing the strategy. So you can see right here, right now, the candles are starting to move and, you know, play around. So while this is going on, I can pretty much, you know, just do like simple things like um, test my strategy. So I see that we got a trend line here, you know, the market hits um, two times. We have a valid trend line on the 15 minute chart. So now let's see if I get a, a, a retest on this, a break and retest and now looking for a potential sell opportunity. And let's see if we get that. Bam, price pushed up, kind of gave you that break and retest. So I know that I would have been looking for a selling opportunity. Taking my targets right here at this uh, previous level of structure. I want to see if I can actually spot a harmonic pattern while I do this. So looking at this right here, I see I have a period of consolidation, price broke to the downside. If I take my Fibonacci tool, take it from, let's see, take it from this high point down to this low point. This level lets me know what I should be looking for. So let's see if I can get a push to the downside out of this 1272 level. Let's, let, me, let me delete this first field real quick. <laughs> So you can kind of see how the market gives us a um, give us that that real feel when we're trading, which is pretty cool. I love it, and it can really help you take your, your trading skills to that next level. So again, it's very very simple for you to come back here and, and um, utilize this tool 
on TradingView. They're very easy to access. So, you know, if you guys really want to take it to that next level, definitely go ahead and um, go ahead and put a trend line right here. My bad. Go ahead on and get this because if you're serious about trading, you'll be able to take your skills to the next level with this. So I see I got, you know, this level of support right here. This level of support going all the way across. Let's see if we can get a break to the downside and a retest of, of the structure level. So this right here really helps you guys like big time when it comes to trading. Zoom in some. So we see the price is playing around in that area and it broke out of it. If we get a push back to the upside, this will be a great opportunity probably to look for a potential sell to the downside. So again, this right here is. This is a great way to help you guys train your eyes to see these different harmonic patterns and so forth in the market and really help you take your skills to that next level. And like I said, you can do this on any time frame as well. I'm on a 15 minute chart right now. And you can see price continue to break to the downside without giving that retest. Maybe sometime in the future, price will come back here and test this level. So I can just go ahead and extend this out in the future. In order, this will be a key area to look for in the market as a um, as a level of resistance if price decides to push back up into that zone. So again, um, my name is Ray Robinson, aka Da Vinci Code. Instagram is billionaire. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and um, utilize this, this platform trading. You can really help you take your skills to that next level. Like I say, you guys will be able to really like level up and become beast ass traders. I'll see you guys on the next video. Tune into my IML TV sessions every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. and every Wednesday night at 8 p.m.